Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. It's been quite some time since I've checked in. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing great. Happy to be with you today to share what I hope is a word of encouragement. And so for any who have listened to me for some time, who maybe you follow my social media channels and you've read some of the things that I've shared, um, you know that a lot of what I do share is from personal experience, um, primarily through my marriage, which has taught me relationships and through my children, which, you know, have really helped me um, as it relates to myself, all of its personal development. And so the message that I have for you today is something that um, I learned in relation to my kids. You know, I, I've, I always encourage those who are listening, watching, reading, whatever the format may be, that everything truly can be your teacher if you will allow it. And as it relates to myself, my self-development, my kids have been some of my greatest, greatest teachers. So when it comes to my children, my husband, our overall family, you know, I was very intentional in creating a family dynamic that fostered a sense of togetherness. And so, you know, it's funny. I think I shared this before. A friend of mine saw us one time in the store and it was just the kids and I. And they had like formed, it was almost like this semi circle around me. And, you know, she just laughed because they were like on top of me. And I remember one time um, during the holidays when we were visiting family, my brother, you know, remarked and said, gosh, you guys move like a unit. Now, a part of that was because my husband was in the Air Force, right? And so a number of the places we were stationed were so far from family that we didn't have those relatives um really to do life with it really was my husband and i and our children and so we really developed as a unit but one of the reasons why that was so important to me and this is i don't know if it's a funny story but i'm gonna say segue into funny is that growing up when i would see my mom and her brother my uncle interact i mean it was years before i realized they were siblings because their dynamic was so odd and um, when I had um, our children, I would tell them, listen, when you guys grow up, if you have a problem with one another, then you have a problem with me because I wanted them to understand I, I'm over the top. So I really just told them to consider myself dead to them. I'm over the top um, because I really wanted to hammer home the notion that family is important now hear me out. I know there's toxic family and all of that stuff. And, and so that's a different type of um, situation, but I'm talking about, let, let's get the tox toxicity, lay that aside and um, just talk about normal dysfunction. And so I really wanted them to understand that um, their relationship as siblings was important. And I wanted them to always hold on to that. And of course, if any um, conflict should arise, then hopefully we can work through it. And so that was the point of that. But that's not even the point of this message. It kind of is, but it isn't. So with that being said, because I was very intentional in creating this family dynamic of closeness and togetherness, as the kids begin growing and getting older, right, and going off to do their things now, two out of our four, I'm sorry, I keep getting notifications popping up two out of our four are now in college. And so when our first went away to college, our first child together went, went away to college, um, it took me a very long time to settle in to the fact that this was my perception at the time that our family unit was, I don't even want to use the word broken because it was disconnected um, or fragment, fragmented, separated in some way. And so that was hard because there was a piece that was missing. Of course, of course, my perception with that has changed, but that's what it was at the time. And so then when it came time for our second, right, there's another piece of the puzzle that, you know, we have this puzzle, this family puzzle and two of the pieces, you know, they're out there, but of course, when they come back, they fit back in. And so, uh, 
it was about a week or so ago, um, my youngest daughter was like, hey, I wanna go to the movies, I wanna go to the movies. Can we go see this movie? Um, and so I said, sure. But in my mind, I was thinking, okay, we'll wait until your brother and sister are home so we can do um, it together. But of course I had my come to Jesus moment, an epiphany, a prompting from the Holy Spirit that life for us is different, right? Because a big portion of our life has changed in a very fundamental way. But just because that portion has changed doesn't mean that we or me should put our, my life on hold, waiting till until those pieces come back. What I have now before me, we're still a family. It's just a different dynamic but I have to live within the dynamic that is here now. And so the encouragement in this message is that a number of times, a lot of us are waiting on something or someone, right? We're waiting for something to fall in place. We're waiting for someone to show up. And there are times when those things are necessary. Don't get me wrong. I mean, there's something to said about planning and needing the help and support, but I'm talking about the person who, can within reason fully engage, fully be present and show up, but make decisions not to because they believe they have to wait on something or they believe they have to wait on someone. And all the while you're waiting, life is moving forward and you're being brought along with it, but you're not actually participating in it, if that makes sense. And so then I had to make a decision. You know what? I have these kids with me here now. This is the dynamic now. These are the things we can do now. And when those other pieces are back in the fold, we'll do whatever it is before us at that time. And so be encouraged to, to start living your life now, to enjoy life now because Tomorrow is not promised. I got to keep track of the time. I have a meeting a little bit, but tomorrow's not promised. And so while we're waiting for whatever that thing is, we're waiting and we're not living our lives. We're not enjoying the people we have in our lives. We're not um, celebrating the place that we are at in that moment in our lives. It could all be over before we even know it. Not having fully lived in your now. So hope this encouraged you in some way and um, stay tuned. Um, I'll be back for some more uh, encouragement, but just go out today and live now.